Hello everyone, welcome to the next episode of Civilization uh, 4. We are playing as Germany, or the Prussians. We're going to continue where we last left off, which is of course in a situation where we believe, at least, that, well, at least I believe, that we could take out two nations at once. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade these two units here, that way we've got a stronger defense over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and invade Italy as well as uh, Spain. And yeah, and seizing Spain as our vassal will be the ultimate goal here, because we don't want them to collapse, so just taking this city. Of course, they have a ton of units here, which is a little bit alarming, because, as you know, that's a lot of longbowmen. But I do believe we could probably do this. So we'll declare war on the Castilian Empire. We'll move in some forces this way. And what we'll do is we'll try and send this army over to Santiago. Now, I'm going to keep it there just to see what happens on this exact turn. Maybe France will supply us with some troops as well. But yeah. What I do expect them to do is use their longbowmen. And yeah, I guess I suppose they'll use some of their uh, bombards as well. If they've got tons, then yeah, they are going to use those. That's going to be a little bit... Uh... But there's not much you can do about the situation. Ooh, ouch. Ouch. Okay, ouch. Yeah, longbowmen, of course, will hopefully fall to our rifles and to our muskets. As you would presume. Okay, there we go. I think they did use conquistadors, and that is what they were using. Uh, they were pistoliers, never mind. Uh, but yes, we do have the French on our side, though, and hopefully we'll be able to use that to our advantage as well. So let's bring down the health of this city. And yeah, it will bring down the health of the city as well. Though it might be wise to actually move that there. This is damage on my units by flanking. Yeah, that tends to happen in this game. Alright, but we are going to head onwards. We're going to move this way. You know, we could potentially just seize Madrid, actually. And, uh, you know, win the war that way. Yeah, it is entirely possible. It is entirely possible. Right, I do want to get all these uh, coal mines upgraded, though. So you head to there, and yes, you are, in fact, going to remove that lumber mill. Thank you. All. And this is going to be our army for invading Venice and hopefully subjugating the Lombard League as well. All right, let's see what happens at this turn. I do have a bad feeling, though, we are going to lose at least one army. Uh, most cultured civ in the world is the Castilian Empire. Wow. Mm, he managed to take out a musket. A little bit dodgy. Alright, well, let's see what happens. Still cycling. There we go. World maps, world maps. New post office. Uh, I would say maybe get a military unit. We'll start on some barracks, yeah. Oh, we've got a great statesman who we will send to Berlin and they will start providing us some things. Emmanuel Kant. I believe. Oh, what war was he in? Was he part of a war? Was he the one that was, like, sort of a secondary to, um, to Bismarck? I'm sure I heard that name in reference to Bismarck. Could be wrong, though. Could be entirely wrong. Entirely wrong. Right, are we getting river crossing? We are not. Then maybe we should just go in. If we take Madrid and they're willing to capitulate, hey, capitulate, capitulate, then that would be great. Second attack. Awesome. That was half decent. Alright, now, Assault City. Probably gonna lose this unit, because, you know, it tends to happen. Yeah. Poor reaction time, buddy. Excellent. That should be a victory. BEA useful. That is a conquistador we're attacking. Excellent. Now, this should just be an outright victory. Excellent. And seize the city. Now, I know this could potentially collapse them. But it is worth doing. Right, they still refuse to talk to us. That is not good. So what we'll do is we'll just barrage their city. Right. 
Do we have enough units actually to seize the city? We do not. So yeah, we've got to watch our bombards here a bit. Well, cannons. Sweet. Keep bombarding. Charming and bombard again. We've got more cannons here. Bombard. Awesome. Bombard again. And I guess we could just bombard like this. Yeah, and then go into the assault. Alright, let's start with these guys. We've got a great general, that's good. And kaboom. Assault. Oh, ouch. Excellent. Alright. Oh, this city would be easy to take. Awesome. So we've done a lot of damage to the city now. I still have a significant amount of troops left, though. Which is a little bit alarming. I'll we'll send you down. Anyone else we could send along? No, we do have a great general now. I am going to plop him down into Berlin. It's just nice to have that additional um, thing of Google. How's happiness? Yeah, we do need a garrison. All right, let's declare war on the Lombard League. And let's just go in here. With our cannons roaring at their full might. Yeah, we're probably going to lose a unit. Or not. Hey, there we go. Kaboom. Look at us go. Have we got our stability modifiers yet? No. Wow. Yeah, so that might be enough to actually force him to capitulate. Then what I'll do is I will go and invade the independence and I will give them to Italy. Because we want to strengthen our allies. We want to strengthen our Europe. We are building our own European Union here, practically. Just a very early version of the European Union. Alright. What can we get here? Civic squares would be good just to get those extra great people. Uh, are they willing to surrender yet? They are not. We probably just need to pressure them a bit more. Or should I say, pressure them. Alright. Yeah, a lot of these units are going to get promotions. Which is great, because that means our army is then also primed and ready for future conquests. Because if we can claim Europe this soon, then we can claim the entire world in no time. Alright, cool. So now... We should probably bring down the health again, just a little tick. Alright, and let's attack again. Sweet. Yeah, this city is definitely right for the taking now. It is good to make sure, though. The question is, will Castile... No, they won't. Not at the moment. So they're not going to surrender. Perfect. Wonderful. Can we not claim the city yet? We cannot. It looks like France might actually take it. Which, if Castile collapses, that's not a bad thing. Yeah, it looks like we can't actually do much here. Now we can't get there in time. So France will seize that city. Let's move everybody into this city and just heal them up. And yeah, we will go after this as well, because we want to cut, cut off everybody from the mainland. Excellent. Alright. Yep, Lombard League's not amused. 
not amused. No. We'll capitulate Italy. Good. There we go. Yeah, there we go. France conquered that. Hopefully that also means you want to capitulate. Mm. No. There you go. Capitulation from you. Perfect. Yep, and it means I'm going to redirect my army. Once it's healed, at least. Yeah, only once it's healed. Spain doesn't want peace yet. Which is a little bit unfortunate. Give you that, we'll give you the heal bonus. I'll move you to that tile, in case we get bombarded. Excellent. No still no capitulation. Yes. Hopefully next turn. Just need a turn to tick in, I guess. See, we've completely screwed Europe, which is wonderful. I'm very pleased with that. Oh yeah, the Ottomans are also going to be a threat in this game. I completely forgot about that. So who else have we waited against? Yeah, Elizabeth is good. And yeah, Solomon as well. Let's get a bit of that going. We'll make you go down. I don't want Japan as much. But I don't really need it with you. I don't need it with you. I sort of need it with you, I guess. Only wrong. Don't need it against you. Yeah, I'll put you on one. There we go. That's much better. That is much better indeed. Now, are you sure you don't want to capitulate? Because honestly, we will force you to do so, my friend. Right, you just keep healing. You're going to start moving up. Alright, next turn. Oh, and we need to give Venice back to uh, Italy. Actually, do we? Oh, who declared war? The Autonomous Community of Portugal. Excellent, I'm glad they're back. So that means we can make them capitulate, potentially. Yes, yeah, so that is part of their core region. So I would not want to uh, do mess with that too much. We want cannons. We can't actually train cannons at the moment. Wow. It's just we started with them. Alright, well, let's go to physics. Let's get theater. And library. Alright, and let's give this back to uh, Italy. Ooh, let's first of all open borders, because, you know. There you go, Venice is yours again. And soon Rome will also be... Well, maybe I'll keep it, I don't know. Alright, what are we doing with this army? Going over to here. And yet we are moving this way. That was probably the very, very unwise decision. Ooh. I don't know I can do about it, actually. Can we get you guys to just randomly spread religion so we don't have to maintain you? Thank you. Oh, and you. There we go. Haha, <laughs> yes. Spreading Protestantism. We are a Protestant kingdom. Ah, there we go. We'll capitulate Spain. Thank you. Open borders for you. Why not? There we go. That does mean he has to drop his uh, vassal himself here. Yeah. Oh, hello, uh, China. Yes. Gotta have my China. And there's Tibet. <laughs> Actually, how is Tibet doing anyways? Yeah, because I remember this is still the same game as my Tibet. Alright, look. Get in there. Actually, you know what? No. We'll give you your, like, capital back. Because it'll just cause us problems otherwise. There you go. What we will do, however is we will invade Cordoba. Mm -hmm. right, let's just reduce the defenses here and heal up a bit. Alright, next turn. Yes, I am a very generous lord, aren't I? And yes, now our empire also encompasses all of this. So Mexico... And uh, and the Incan uh, Peru, which is just awesome. Right, I would like you to get monument next. Uh, you can get a weaver because we need to weave some of that German culture over this way. All right, yep, keep on bringing that health down. And yet we need to take out Cordoba or Cortuba. 
Kurtb. Although first I want to heal my units. Alright, next turn. Yeah, I believe Portugal's now exiled somewhere. Where is it? Oh, it'll be over here. <gasps> Portugal will capitulate as well. Which means we can claim Portugal's colonies. Beautiful. Look at them. They're over here. Perfect. Thank you for your capitulation. <laughs> Capitulations. Okay, so you finished that. National Monument. Ooh. No, I would much rather get a market. Because Frankfurt is actually going to be building this our uh, great people. Getting us our great people, I guess. Um, what else do we want? We want roads. I think we want a road over here. Let's build it. Alright, let's keep that health coming down. Alright, how are we doing for health? Yeah, we're almost done. Alright, next turn we will invade Cordoba. And then we'll consider invading the Balkans. And handing over territories to uh, Austria. Oh yeah, look at that. The German Empire is supreme. Yeah, Russia will also be on my agenda. Actually, Sweden's probably next. Does this technically count? Control Italy. Hmm. Well, we control them. So technically they should be listed under there, but... Well, who knows. Oh, they've collapsed! Well, all the more reason to do that. Although it does mean I can now pull some of my forces away. Well, there we go. So, where are we wanting to go next? Yeah, I am kind of thinking maybe we, uh, we go for Sweden next. It would be nice to capitulate, um, or force the capitulation of Russia. They're not going to give us open borders, so... The only problem is, these cities are very far away, and they've got General Winter. So we've got to watch out. Maybe we want to invade the Ottomans. Force them to collapse. Mm-hmm. I war on that. Perfect. Alright, next turn. Next turn! The Protectorate of Iberia. <laughs> yeah, we'll give this one to Portugal, I think. You know, just to mess up the region. Heck, I could keep it. It could be my, uh, my Gibraltar. Spain has one slave available for trade. Good for you, Spain. I don't want your slaves. I've already got my workforce. Let's build a road there as well. Just connect it all up. There we go. We've got another great person. Let's pop him into Berlin. Beautiful. Oh, looks like Spain claimed it. All right, never mind. We shall now head back then. We shall head, yeah, towards the border here. Or do we want to go and liberate all this? I mean, there are going to be revolutions here in time anyways. But maybe I do want to just flatten the uh, the Ottoman Empire so they're not a threat in the future. Hmm. Yeah, perhaps I do. Yeah, let's do that. Let's bring our enormous army this way. Alright, about to finish that library there. Lovely. How are we doing for stability? Oh, we still haven't reached that threshold yet. When we do, we might find things are a bit unstable. I don't know. Measurement. It'd be nice to get some ship of the lines. Go and invade England. Ooh. That's a really good idea, actually. Because if we can make them our vassals... Ooh. Yeah, if we can make England our vassal... Oh, that would be the ultimate goal, wouldn't it? Get a university. We would need to start producing some ships, though. Some galleons. Oh, that's going to take a very long time, buddy. Right, once you've got a forge, can you start working on a galleon there? And a galleon there. Let's see, the next goal definitely has to be that. Alright, next turn. Next turn. And gives up. Mm-hmm. Oh, I forgot to finish doing this. What am I doing? Yeah, head down here. And, yeah. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Because I want Italy to be strong, you know. I don't want it to be a weak little Italy. Oh, come on. You know you love me. 
And we just need a lot more of our culture pouring out. Maybe it would be worth doing this then. Just for a bit of time. Um, what is that? Why does it want something there? It's already got something. I don't know. We'll put these back in Berlin anyways. Berlin might need a bath. Do you have a bath? I'll put you in the bath. Amsterdam's gonna build the next great person. Really? Well, by all means. How's the stability doing? Oh, yeah, it's alright. America. No, that's not America, that's Amsterdam. America has not spawned yet. So, yeah, invading England. And, of course, invading, yeah, Sweden. Might be the wisest course of action for next. <laughs> what's in the city. Plus 50% military production. Jeez. Wow. Um, I think I'll keep it. Yeah, I think I will keep this. I mean, they don't really need it. They're not using it. Alright, the next thing I want to do is bring all of these troops over here. We are going to need them. Because we'll need them too. I don't know if I need this fort up here, so it'd be much better if we could just get something else. Like a another cottage. Yeah, let's get tons of those. Yeah, so Amsterdam's gonna give us another great person. Lovely. So what have we got? We've got three great people in Berlin. Oh, give me gold per turn. Excellent. National theater. You cannot continue constructing. What? What do you mean? Why not? Well, that doesn't make any sense. Alright, get an observatory then. Yeah, why not? Alright, you can just stay there. You guys are going to hopefully take this. Excellent. That one we will give back to the way. Yes. And we'll send these guys back home. Well, back towards that way. Yeah. This way. Useful. Invading England is a great idea, though. Before they become too powerful. Of course, invading Russia before they become too powerful is also a good idea. Oh, they've got dyes. Probably use some dyes, actually. Alright, so stay here at the border. We will need a big army for this. Oh, most of it's become German, sort of. Sort of. <laughs> give or take. Yeah, give or take an Italian or two. Alrighty. See, there will be a moment of peace before the extreme war begins. Oh, metallurgy. If we can get aluminium as well. Ooh. Yes. It'd be nice if that tile became ours, but evidently not. Yes, they do have Janissaries and all that. So, it's gonna be, it's not gonna be an easy task of taking their city. But yeah, holding this city at least guarantees us another source of income from that holy shrine. I mean, look at us. We are a massive, well, technically we're an empire. Oh, America! Welcome to the game. Let's give you a free map of the world so you like us better. And then we will buy your map. Right, open borders view, yeah. Also, yep, we're gonna convert France to um, to Protestantism. So yeah, any and all colonies that France builds as well, 
will belong to uh, us. Yeah, I would like some galleons, though. If we can pull off an invasion of England, I'm going to be very happy. Ah, oh, they've got a lot of troops, though. But, hey, we need to use it anyways to invade Sweden. We'd have to probably invade Oslo. It's not going to be an easy place to invade. Lots of hills. No. Hmm. No. Alright, there's a great scientist. We'll send you back to the city. As much as I would love to build the academy, we need to reach this historic goal. Right. These very enormous armies now. Yeah, I suppose we can move these. There we go. Have at least one cavalry in each as well. Look at that. Oh, so, so very sexy. Huge armies ready to go. Yeah, it'd be nice if Paris was uh, a little bit happier. National Fiat. No, what I wanted was that... Was it National Gallery? Hmm. Yeah, whatever it was, it no longer wants to exist. Which is like, come on, man. Coffee house. We need culture. Alright, get an estate. Yes. Yeah, we need to remove kebab. So we'll probably take Belgrade. Is that in a cool zone? It is. But whose core is it? I actually don't know. I don't know if it's Greece's. I don't think it is. I think it actually belongs to um, Austria's core area. So yeah, we'll deplete that. Ooh, Russian army there. Get a barracks, because we might need to start producing units. Alright, you're fully healed. I do want to wait until both... Oh, they are both healed. Oh, no time like the present then. Ooh, Russia's got a huge army coming. You know what? Let's see what Russia does first. Russia will hopefully, you know crush some of their forces. National theater. No, what we need here is more health. We need healthier buildings, like, yeah, a sewer. Alright, we've got our galleon here. Let's build more of them. And yeah, let's go and have a look. See what England's uh, looking like over there. Alright, Ottoman Empire. Like, they are really powerful, so I'm not, like, you know, underestimating them at all. I'm just gonna see if Russia can take some of the firepower here. I think they're at war. Yeah, they are. Haha, <laughs> excellent. They might be able to actually take that city, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna declare war now. No, not on you. Yeah, on you. And yeah, we're gonna move forward to here and as much as I'd love to move on hmm. alright let's do that alright let's see what we can do here I mean, Russia has a lot of bombards but they don't have a lot of melee units so they might not be able to take the, the city straight away I mean if we can claim Constantinople that will be amazing Yeah, we will see. Belgrade will go to Austria. But Constantinople, I might just keep to myself. Ooh, Russia wants open borders. Well, we have a mutual uh, war going on now. Mm, there we go. Perfect. So maybe I will get open borders to Russia so I can go and invade Sweden. Mm. That's good thinking. All right, Muscovin. So, where is it? No, not you. I would like to capitulate you as well. Uh, whilst we can get open borders for them. Boom. Alright, let's... Deplete some more of this. Oh, wow. What a strong city. But yeah, it is... Yeah, their units are so down in health. All right, let's go in. Oh, oh, oh. 
thank you, Russia, <laughs> for doing all the hard work. Right, what I want to do first is actually take this city. Belgrad. Alright. And then what we'll do is we will use our yeah, cannon. Oh, come on. Really? I guess. And yeah, we'll keep moving our units forward. Ah, they got a great general. I love it. We Yeah, they got a great general just in time for us to crush him. Oh, Tuga Therese. One of the generals who uh, was present at the Battle of Vienna, I believe. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> I think it was, yeah, I think it was Tuga Therese. Uh, we will claim this for us. Well, I guess. No, we're actually within our expansion zone. We are solid, man. We are so friggin' powerful. Nothing will stop us. Alright, let's move these guys in. We now have the Hagia Sophia as well. So all Christi uh, all uh, Protestant buildings give us plus two. Is that across the Empire, or is that just in that city? Buildings, 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 buildings. Uh, oh, sorry. Wonders. Haja Sophia. All built... Really? Really? Just, like, all Christian buildings. So let's say I line this up. What is it? Oh, <gasps> that's amazing! That is actually really amazing. Uh, if we haven't got those already, get those going. Dang. Oh, we do need to build our navy up. Yeah, plus two production. That's a lot of production, man. Ottoman Empire won't, yeah, capitulate. Now, the best way I see us capitulating Britain is by invading Scotland. But I'm thinking we will go after Sweden next. Mm hmm. Oh, and we've now entered the Industrial Era. Good timing. 1792, Russian Revolution. No, oh, China. Social contract, chemistry, hydraulics. I like I like the idea of building levees. Right, we can now build cannons. Oh, ironworks here would be so powerful. Right, well let's get a pharmacy. And there's our next great uh, person, a great scientist. We should get another great general, because I mean, we're going to be at war for a very long time to come. Um, so how many is that now? That's yeah. So that's five. Perfect. So we only need two more. We'll definitely get our goal. Right, let's keep moving our army forward, I guess. Move into the city. Kill all in your path. I don't really care about taking Athens, because of course Greece is going to pop up there at some point anyways. So it's best not to provoke that dragon. Don't wake the dragon, Khaleesi. Go. Move you in as well. Just so they can all get sort of a healing bonus. And yeah. Unless you capitulate, in which case, cool, but no. Not yet. Alright, next turn. Oh, this is great! So in less than a hundred years, we have made the world ours. Well, made the old world ours. Yeah, barring Russia. Mm. 
No, this is the counterattack. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not exactly excited about this. I don't get the feeling Russia just gave him a ton of troops. Ooh, he's got a huge army as well. Mm, I don't trust this. We might need to make peace. Oh, no, not my rifleman. I liked my rifleman. We did kill a few of their units. Yeah, that's good. Okay, this is not looking good. I suppose we could counterattack, though. Yeah, I mean, we're killing a lot of their dudes. Yeah, look at that. Hmm. Maybe we can counterattack here, yeah. Let's look at all the cannons we have. We can, yeah, we could definitely do this. All right, let's barrage them first. Perfect. All right, next turn. Up next unit. all they can do. Let's just get rid of all these cannons now, and let's go on the attack. Yeah, we've got another great general, Heinz Guderian. Very nice. Hello everyone, and welcome to what is going to be the last part of this episode. Unfortunately, uh, I do have to do all this again because the recording ended early, so we are going to very quickly Re redo all this. I had to go back one turn because the auto save was unfortunately, as you can see, it was unfortunately here. It was on the last turn, so we're gonna redo that. Um, gonna continue anyways, and yeah, finish off this awesome army if preferable. Yes, if preferable. Ooh. Cool. I'll we'll probably just bombard them to uh, to no end. And yeah, we'll probably be able to easily sweep them up at that point. Beautiful. So yeah, slightly different outcome. But uh, it shouldn't be too bad. We do have some Russians, you know, still coming through here. I just feel like I should have let them handle it. Alright, it should be just a wrap here. So the, yeah, the second siege of Constantinople by the Ottomans, but of course, at this stage we have, well, we're a little late to save them, to save the uh, the classic Roman and Greek cultures, but, ooh, oh wow, that almost turned around, that's what it was looking like, uh oh. Alright, I'm probably just going to finish the battle with something like these two. Boom! And last but not least, bam! Kaboom! All right, so we won that. I don't really expect much of a counterattack, and we also got a great general from that, Heinz Guderian. Yes, that's right, we did. Uh, I'm glad it was the same one, because <laughs> uh, might have been awkward if it wasn't. Uh, I think I've set everything up the same way. I think, yeah, the only differences are pretty minute. But anyways, that's going to do it for this episode, so thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.